Hey everybody, coloring friends and neighbors. <laughs> I thought I would show you guys what I colored during the months of February and March. Not a lot. Um, February I colored very little, um, only two pages, and then in March I kind of was starting out strong and I got um, set back toward the third week of March. I actually uh, fell into a really bad uh, arthritis flare-up that lasted, actually I'm still experiencing it. It's the worst one I've ever had in my entire life. Um, I've been really thrown for a loop with this one. Um, and it wasn't so much my hands, although my left hand was really bad for at least a week. Um, it It's my hips that are really, really, really experiencing a lot of pain, and I can't sit um, comfortably uh, enough to color. So I haven't actually colored, I don't think, since mid-March. Um, I'm hoping that I can color this week. Um, I'm feeling better. I'm sitting right now without too much discomfort. So hopefully I'll be back on track, but it really threw me for a loop. It's been really depressing and just, I've had a really rough time. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I'm not asking for sympathy. I don't usually talk too much about arthritis pain because I believe that if you talk too much about your pain, it gives it power, you know, and I know that sounds kind of weird, but, but I just believe that, you know, I, I try to not focus on any kind of difficulties I have with my arthritis, but this time this really threw me for a loop and not being able to sit and color, um, has really, 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 uh, been bad for my mental health. Um, not cutting my physical health, obviously, but my mental health, it just has been a real struggle and, but I'm coming out of it and I'm feeling, um, quite a bit better, although I'm not recovered completely yet. But I did want to show you guys what I colored in February and March because I just want to start carrying on. I can't let this win, and so we're just going to do this, okay? So so in February, like I said, I only colored two pages, um, and one of them was from this big book of fairies from Molly Harrison, and I did color it for Valentine's Day, and it is this fairy here with the heart. Um... It, this was like a kind of a mishmash page. I used a little bit of everything. Um, alcohol markers for the background because I can tell uh, on the back here. And then also some alcohol marker uh, on her wings. And then um, I think the orange is Distress Ink. I think I actually colored in the orange heart with Distress Ink. I used... Um, Black Widow pencils for the fairy herself, and then um, I colored in the pink hearts with, um, I think if you can see, they're kind of like shiny a little bit, uh, the Jelly Roll glaze pens, and um, then I put stickles on her wings, so uh, I don't know if that's going to show up or not. I'm trying to, but I can't tell if, it, if it's showing up or not. I need to use my stickles. Um, I don't want them to, <coughs> excuse me, dry out. So I've got a mission to use my stickles as much as I can, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, going forward. And then I threw some washi tape on there. So a little bit of everything on this page from Molly Harrison's Big Book of Fairies. This is a really nice book. I really, really like it a lot. <clears throat> Sorry for my squeaky chair. Actually, I'm going to take a drink. Be right back. Um, actually, too, for the Molly Harrison page, I did the hashtag uh, February Color Your Horde 2021. Now, the next page I did in February was from Home Sweet Home from Teresa Goodridge, and I colored this page for the February Color Your Horde 2021 and also Get Your Haven on 2021. Um, so both of those are hashtags that go, you know, like, the Get Your Haven on is for the whole year, and obviously Lavalia's color along for um, Color Your Hoard is uh, all year, but it goes month to month. And so I colored this page. Let me find it. Where is it? I colored this page um, for a challenge in um, one of my coloring groups that I participate in. Um, I think it was T's group. But um, this page, it was just a Teresa Goodridge challenge, and it was to color anything from her books. And so I have several Teresa Goodridge books, and the only ones I've colored in is the Autumn 
one, whatever, autumn scenes, or I think that's what it's called, autumn scenes. So this one is from Home Sweet Home. Um, and I chose this one because I thought it would be fun to try to make the couple look like Keith and I, sort of. So I did her hair dark or red and his hair brown. Um, um, and then they originally were watching a movie that had like a romantic comedy type look. It had like a man and a woman on it. And of course I changed it to a classic horror by using the sticker from the antiquated sticker book uh, on the TV set, which I thought brought it a little bit of fun. And it was, um, you know, my, my personal touch or whatever to it. So I used, um, black widow pencils and gel pen, like a white gel pen is pretty much what I used on this one. Um, I might've used a little bit of, oh, black. Did I use marker or gel pen? It must've been gel pen because I can see that the, um, fireplace and that and around the chair has a little bit of black um, gel pen on it and then also I think there's a few touches on this flower pot here the topiary there's some pentel sparkle pop and around the border is a red pentel uh, sparkle pop pen um, Oh, and his wedding ring also. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just thought this was really fun. I enjoyed doing this quite a bit. Um, I'm glad that I tackled a page from here. Although I found it intimidating. So, those of you who color regularly from these books, I give you major, major props because... Teresa Goodridge books are beautiful once the pages are colored, but oh my gosh, there's so much detail in them. Um, it's easy to get overwhelmed for somebody like me who's not used to these style of pages. You know, I mostly do like fantasy and people figures and stuff, so it, it really was... Um, you know, kind of a challenge for me to do it, but I was really glad that, um, that I did, uh, finish it in time to, um, submit it for the Teresa Goodrich challenge in that group. So that is from Home Sweet Home from Teresa Goodrich. And then moving on into the month of March, um, so I colored from Macaron Sketchbook, and this is, um, under my hashtag 10 books to finish. Um, not my hashtag, but the anxiety art adventures. Um, she started that 10 books to finish, um, for 2021. Um, and this is one of the ones I chose. So I am endeavoring to complete it. Does anybody else who have this book feel like their book gets really beat up? Mine gets really beat up. I don't know if it's the, the cover or like just, the, I don't know if it's cause I've used so much water mediums or what, but I have beat this book to heck it looks like. <laughs> but anyways, so I colored four pages out of, um, this book this month. Uh, let's see here. So, well, so here is one of them. I just did all black um, and white, like black and gray. And then I decided to do some pops of red for her lips and her little flower in her hair and her fingernails. Um, that one was a lot of fun. It was easy and quick to do. I enjoyed doing it. Oh, and her eyeballs are red too. <laughs> so for this one, I, again, I just used Black Widows. I have been using the heck out of Black Widows lately. Um, so I used Black Widows and then I think I used my red jelly roll glaze pen for the eyes, the lips, and her fingernails. Um, and, and to make dots with the little flower. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I've just been really reaching for those Black Widows lately, like crazy. Um, and then the next one I did here, um, also Black Widows and, um, some Pentel Sparkle Pop, I believe, with the gel pen, the glittery, and then a sticker from the Antiquarian Sticker Book and some yellow distress ink there. I kind of wanted it to look like she's at like an art gallery looking at a painting or something. I wasn't really sure, but I think it's fun. A lot of, when I look at these pictures in here and a lot of them have these like geometric blocks, um, or whatever, I kind of think of them as art, you know, that they're, that the women are looking at art or whatever. So that's what I did with that page. And then let's see, here is the next one I did this one with um, Holbein's 
the pastel set. I only had the set of 12 that um, a friend gave me and um, I just wanted to use just those and a black gel pen. So that's what I did with this one and a white gel pen. And I had a lot of fun with this. I think it's really pretty. Um, I like the skin quite a bit. I like her hair quite a bit. I just like the whole page. It, it's I just really enjoyed it. Uh, a lot. I love those pastel Holbeins and I know like I said it's only the 12 set and I'm like considering getting the bigger set of just the pastels but I don't know if I want them yet. I'm like you know that's a lot of money to put out. So I figure I'm going to use this 12 set a little bit more and when they start to get down then I can treat myself to the bigger set because that's a lot of money. I mean that's a lot of money. <laughs> so, but they are beautiful and they're lovely. And even in um, books like these, I have the Amazon paper. Um, they, they color beautifully. They just lay down beautifully. So, so um, yeah, I had fun with that one. And then this one um, I did with, I took a Faber-Castell gelato, uh, two of them, actually the metallic whatever the blush pink is, I can't remember, and a blue, and I just did the whole page with it and um, as a water medium and colored the whole entire page with that, and then I just went over with a few pencils, um, B Black Widow pencils, yeah, so that's all I did, and then I think I threw a little bit of sparkle um, around her. Um, I think that would have been a Nouveau Glitter marker, so really fun and quick and easy but I really like the metallic gelatos I think they're so pretty and they give such a nice sheen to the page um just really fun you know I enjoyed it and I had a good time with this one a lot so those four were from the macaron sketchbook by Carla Magana and I um yeah hope to complete this book this year I don't think I'll have any difficulties doing that um, next, I also colored in um, Miss Fluff's Magical Mermaids coloring book. I've had this book for several months, um, and maybe even a year, I'm not sure, and I never colored in it. And then I saw, uh, I was sitting around looking at Instagram stories one night, I think it was Instagram stories, and I saw Jen um, coloring from this book, or she had some completed pages or something from this book and I'm like you know such a cute book and I have it why am I not coloring in it so I went ahead and I started a page or I completed a page and it was so simple I think I did this page in just like an hour or an hour and a half it was so easy I used Kelly art markers as a base and then I went over with black widow pencils and I used some gel pen and then uh, around her because I had gone out of the lines with the Kelly Art markers. <laughs> um, I used a Nouveau glitter marker, like in blue, to kind of outline her to cover up where I went out of the lines. Um, I have a hard time using the Kelly Art markers because they're so thick. I have a difficult time holding them. So sometimes they get away from me and I, I go out of the lines. Like you can really see it uh, with the starfish, you know, how it's kind of... So I just kind of outline stuff in that way. It, it doesn't look as bad. Um, I think, yeah, I think I use like Nouveau glitter markers to outline where I go out of the lines on, on these things. But I used um, Distress Ink for the circles in the background or bubbles, whatever you want to call them, and um, a white gel pen. So I thought this was really fun. I really like her, the color. I like, I think I make all the mermaids redheaded <laughs> and stuff like that that I color but I just thought this one was really cute with the fish and their little champagne glasses and that so this one would have been also for um March uh color your horde 2020 but yeah I really like that one this book is so cute and so fun to color out of I'm just yeah really looking forward to doing more in this this may be one I could put on my list for completing in 2022 because it's so cute so that one is Miss Fluff's Magical Mermaid coloring book um next I did a Zen Doodle color by number from Deborah Muller and her stained glass dazzling art to color and display this was the first one I have done this is the first color by number I've done I, probably since I was a child, I don't ever remember doing any recently, you know, even 
as a teenager or an adult or anything, um, but I really was anxious to use this book and get started. So I actually picked the image that's on the cover to do because I thought it was so pretty. And um, here is what that looks like. And I used Kelly Art markers for that. Um, I counted it as March Color Year Horde 2021. And um, I just thought it was really, really pretty. I was tempted to go over the lines um, in this one with a sparkly gel pen or a metallic gel pen the way a lot of you guys do with your color by number or mosaic books, you know, or whatever. But the lines in this one are a little bit thicker, I think, because it's like stained glass. So I wasn't sure how it would look. I'll probably try that in the next one. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. The mar the color choices, I thought, didn't exactly match up with what the key was, but it still looks okay. Um, you know, I'm pleased with it, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I think it, I think it took me about maybe two hours. I was kind of watching television and doing this at the same time, so. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was quite fun. Um, so I kind of see why everybody likes to do the color by numbers now. It was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. So that was from, um, Zen Doodle Color by Number, Stained Glass, Dazzling Art to Color and Display from Deborah Muller. And then the last one I have, um, is from 1960s Fashion from Pep and Press. This is a large book. Um, it's kind of tall. And this has 16 pages in it. And when I did my original tag video, like when I did the original tag video that had been started by Anxiety Art Adventures, I didn't include this book in the 10 books to finish. However, afterwards, I'm like, why didn't I pick this book? It's only got 16 pages and I had already started it. So I am including it in that challenge. Um, so for this one, I did do the hashtag 10 um, books to finish. Uh, let me see. And I did this page here. So it is a little bit big, but I just used Kelly Art markers and a white gel pen. Um, and I think I must have used the sparkle pop or something, a jolt, because I can see her earrings have a little bit of sparkle, and so does her bracelet. But I really, I really liked this one. When I first colored it, I didn't use the white gel pen in the dress, um, and then it kind of looked, uh, I don't know, there was just, I, did, I wasn't crazy about it. So then I thought, well, I'm going to use the white gel pen and outline some of the lines in it, um, some of the pattern, the zigzag pattern, and um, once I did that, I liked it much better. So that's what I did, but yeah, I, I really like this book a lot. So now I think I've got, I don't have a lot of colors in this. I've got one, uh, two, three, four. I've got four done in this book, and there's 16, so I have 12 to go. Um, in this, so I, I don't think that would be uh, too difficult of a task to complete this book. Um, but yeah, so I used Kelly Art Markers and a gel pen. But that is it. That is what I colored during the month of February and March. So not a lot, but some. And like I said, hopefully I will be feeling better soon that I can color again. This uh, has been really bad, um, this flare-up I had. Um, it, it just really knocked me for a loop and I was really depressed <laughs> after after a few days of it I got really depressed because I'm like this is terrible I feel awful and I can't do anything and I'm miserable and um you know taking some pain medication and muscle relaxers and uh it just it basically you know not even really being able to shower uh, I was shower like every other day um and it just it was miserable and Keith you know he kept saying he knew that I felt miserable because I was not myself at all my personality was just really like withdrawn and I'm, I'm not like that normally so I am feeling better now um I do want to start to color again I'm I had started a page out of floral fairies the um tulip fairy in the Dover coloring book. And um, I had started that in March and then I wasn't able to work on it anymore. Um, I had colored it because, started that one because the tulips in our yard were starting to come up and now they are up, so that's really nice. Um, but I am gonna try to finish that one. And then there are some art, there's an Art Nouveau um, challenge in, for April. 
on Instagram, and I want to say that's um, Megan. Uh, is it? I don't know. I don't want to say it's Claire with me. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description section. But she has a um, uh, Art Nouveau April Instagram thing going on, and I want to participate in that. So. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And then I have a haul of some um, coloring books that Keith got me for my birthday. And um, I plan on filming that next. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in and sticking with me. And um, I will see you in the next video.